Over a year ago, I bought a Grim Audio Mu1 digital music player and server. And to be honest, I still haven't found a better one. Why then am I going to sell it? Sometimes tests do not go as well as planned. If an illogical behaviour of a device on the test occurs, it takes considerable more time since I have to find out what's going on. And in very rare cases I return the device on the test to the manufacturer or distributor without publishing a review. Usually there is a second subject for test in the queue. But when that also needs some more time, I run out of options, like now. Luckily a reoccurring question after I reviewed the Grim Audio Mu2 is are you going to replace the Mu1 for it, as if they are interchangeable, and if the Mu1 has become obsolete overnight, which is certainly not the case, but it all asks for some explanation. There are many things I like about the Mu1. First, it's a very clever pragmatic design. It runs the best music aggregation and playback system, Rune. I know you need a subscription, but since there is a lifetime subscription that is not coupled to hardware, consider it as a separate device, like you need a cartridge in your record player. If you upgrade your record player, you can take the cartridge with you to the new player as you can keep using Rune if you ever change your hardware. Second, it uses a standard computer board so the Rune software runs comfortably under a light Linux version. Rune updates will install automatically and without any problems. No computer knowledge needed, it works like a normal audio device. Third, Grim Audio doesn't use general or public libraries for their hardware specific code. They have developed their own libraries for those functions that influence audio quality. Fourth, it has the best sounding scaler I have heard up till now. Fifth, it delivers the best digital output I have heard up till now when the scaler is switched off. Switched on, it sounds even better. Sixth, it's a one box solution, server, aggregator and playback are in one box controlled from a tablet, smartphone or even from another computer. Even music storage is integrated when you order the optional second internal SSD. Seventh, the Rune functions can also be used individually. The Mu1 works also as a Rune server for other stereos throughout the house. It can also work as a Rune endpoint for other Rune servers, which is handy for those with enormous music collections like me. Rune comes with a free app for smartphones and tablets to play music from the Rune server when you are on the go. 8. Grim Audio has a long term vision. They don't intend to bring out new versions of the same hardware every few years. They rather use R&D time and money to develop new equipment. For instance they are currently developing an A to D and D to A converter for recording studio use. When I bought Mu1, I thought no one would ever argue that my reviews were based on a less than perfect digital source. And I was right. But I would never have thought this would cause a problem too. The AES EBU signal coming from the Mu1 is so perfect that it makes any deck sound clearly better. The Mu1 signal overtakes the clock in the DAC so it's difficult to judge the clock in the DAC itself. And when the scaling and minus 3 dB headroom is switched on, it also works around the upscaling the DAC itself does. When I realized that, I started using other digital sources too, like the Magna Mano MK3 Farad streamer and the Singster SU6 digital to digital converter, connected to the USB output of the Mu1. The latter is in fact a normal USB on the Intel NUC inside the Mu1 bypassing everything that makes the Mu1 so special. So it's the superior quality of the Mu1 that makes every DAC sound better than when using a digital source that is more likely to be used 
in combination with the majority of DACs I review. So if you want your DAC to sound better, get yourself a new one, but for a reviewer that's not what you want. Well, I still want a very high quality reference when reviewing DACs. Tracks I thought sounded very poor sounded very good using the Muon player and Chord Dave DAC. But as you might have seen in my review of the Grim Mew 2, that's even a notch better. And since that also has the unprocessed USB output, I can use that to drive the things a DDD. That also offers me a digital output I will ever need. Three versions of I2S, SPDIF on BNC and RCA, Toslink and AES EBU. There even is a master clock slash word clock out. So I have decided to buy the Mu2, but since my funds are limited, I have to sell the Mu1 and the Dave. Both the Mu1 and the Dave still are extremely good devices that offer a sound quality most people have to do without. The Mu1 is without doubt the best way to upgrade your DAC and the Dave is my favourite DAC under 15,000 euros. But in my situation the Mu2 is even a better solution. And on that bombshell we come to the end of this video. As usual there will be a new video next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to my channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too. The links are in the comments below this video in YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you next week. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.